Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's October 6th. Uh, it's actually still really warm out, which is great. Um, so really, really wanted to do this for a really long time. And finally, I'm just going to uh, go on a limb and do it. So I'm going to start a projector retrofit build um, for this truck. So I'm super excited about it. Uh, I'll flip the camera around and show you what I'm exactly going to do. Okay, so the new parts are not here yet. Everything is ordered, but they're not here yet. So basically, I am going to put a um, Bi-Xenon Mini H1 in this, uh, in the low beam. And I'm going to put a uh, LED pod in the high beam. And then I'm also going to take these guys apart and um, not do actually do anything with them besides paint the entire uh, housing black. I'm going to paint the housings on these black as well. Um, so it ought to be pretty clean, ought to be pretty bright, um, but hopefully still halfway incognito, you know. So I'm not going to do any of the, uh, the RGB halos around the outsides or anything like that. I just want it to be super clean, as stock as I can make it. But... Uh, make it look pretty sweet. Okay, so obviously I needed something to be able to have in my headlights while I was building this set. So I'm gonna leave the stock ones, or not stock, but the ones that are in there in the top, I'm gonna leave those there. Um, and so instead I ordered a brand new set of the exact same thing. So um, I would recommend if you're gonna do a build like this, I would get some aftermarket ones because they use a butyl rubber glue um, around the outsides versus a uh, perma seal like the oem one does which that one's almost impossible to get off i've done it um, but they did not go back together the way they wanted to but these are a lot easier to take apart and a lot easier to put back together so basically there's nothing special about these but they're brand new i um, still have obviously the, the coating on them um, and then i'm going to put in an old set of um, i'm going to put in an old set of bumper marker lights as well um, so that i can take those ones that i have in there now and uh, reuse those. So um, there's nothing special about these. They're just tinted and they're dark, um, a little bit junkier, but they'll work for you know the week that it takes to get this done. So we go ahead and pull everything, pull the, uh, the lower ones out there, put these ones in, and then uh, we'll get started on taking everything new apart. All right guys, so the new headlights, um, they are ready to go. Um, so basically, if you haven't heard of this before, what we're gonna do to get these apart is we're gonna put them in the oven. So you need to make sure that everything that could melt is taken off of them, right? So obviously the new uh, lens covers here need to come off. And then there are uh, rubber caps on the back here, rubber seals. Those need to come off as well. Gonna set all this stuff off to the side, make sure you know where it goes. Um, probably I'll take off these paper pieces as well, paper covers. And at that point, this is all plastic. Um, so at that point, this headlight is ready to be put in the oven. So I need to do the same thing with this one here. Um, we obviously need to take off the plastic again. That's all good. Um, rubber covers. and our dust caps, dust covers here. So other than that, these headlights are ready to go. Um, kind of the same thing, if you're putting a new set together on your, um, on your bumper lights, they'll be the same. However, there's nothing on the back of these that actually need to be um, taken off. These are a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna clean them up a little bit before they get put in the oven, but um, you can actually see it coming through here. Hopefully this zooms in correctly. Um, this is that rubber right there. That's, the, uh, that's that butyl rubber glue that I was talking about. Um, so heat that up and it becomes real stringy and you'll be able to actually pull these apart. So that's, uh, that'll be the next step. All right, guys. So you heat your preheat your oven to 260 and I have a timer set here for seven minutes. So it is inside here, just having some fun. Um, we're going to do one at a time. Um, so 260, 270 degrees for seven minutes and that should get the glue plenty warm, uh, to be able to pull apart. All right, guys, so I've actually cheated and already done one, but here is the second one. So one thing I forgot to take off before is this little metal clip um, in the bottom left corner. So let's take that off. Um, so at this point, it's actually pretty basic, pretty easy. You just need to um, make sure there's these little clips around the sides. Um, make sure that those are off and then just kind of wedge a screwdriver down in between there. go and just start prying it apart and if you get it down and done in one spot 
then uh, you should be doing pretty good. See this uh, plastic clip came back up. Just gonna keep that up. Let's see if we can get back inside there the way I want it to. And if you deform the plastic, it's okay. It's not really a big deal. Um, basically, just kind of get itself inside there. There we go. Pop it open. And now you should be able to just peel it apart, just like that. This glue comes apart. Oh, looks like I've got a helper. There you go, just peel them apart, and that's all it takes. Now, while you're inside here, there's this uh, gloss, or I guess chrome, um, other piece inside here, so we're gonna pull that out at the same time. It's all just once again stuck in with that glue. So we're gonna pull that apart. And that's it, guys. That's all it takes. One thing I didn't mention, guys, but use your common sense. You're running these at 250, 260 degrees, wear a pair of gloves. Um, I had a whole bunch of extra tools here. The only one that I've actually been using is just a flat blade screwdriver. Um, so you can get, I think they, they sell a, uh, a splitter. This is actually just a uh, snap ring pliers I grabbed just in case I needed it, some pliers and stuff. But all I've used so far is a pair of gloves and this guy. Um, so you shouldn't really need much to do these if you're using aftermarket headlights. So we've got one more in the oven quick and then we will be uh, good to go. Guys, okay, so here is the lower bumper light. It's basically the exact same procedure. We're just gonna stick a screwdriver in here. It's real soft. These come apart super easy. Just pry in there, get it to a point where you can get your hands in there and then just pull it apart. And that's it. You can see these actually had a little bit of condensation in them. Pour that out. There you go. Now this part, this is all one molding, uh, one mold. Um, so there's nothing to take apart on either part of this, but that's it guys. Um, so all four of them apart. So we're gonna take them, uh, take them back out to the garage um, and uh, work on all I have right now. So these ones are getting nothing besides getting painted. So I'm gonna work on scuffing these up and getting them painted up because that's all I can do until the rest of the parts come in. All right guys, they're all laid out. Everything's ready to go. So um, that's it for today. So next video, I'm gonna hopefully have everything in house. We'll be able to unbox all of the new stuff um, and get to work on starting to prep and uh, paint some stuff. So um, it ought to, uh, ought to be pretty cool. So um, go ahead and keep following it guys. This ought to be a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat build. So I've never done one before, but hey, let's, uh, let's learn together. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, keep tuned and we'll keep on rolling.